So if you're anything like me, there's a good chance you got so caught up in the everyday business of life and Father's Day just sprung up on you and you're not prepared. But don't worry because I'm in the same boat. And for this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way you can still save the day by making your dad an awesome looking shirt and tie out of money. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use a $20 bill and you can see there's a light green side and a darker green side. And I personally like the darker green side for my shirts. It just looks a little bit more classy. And if you wanna do the same, start with that side facing up, then take the bottom edge and carefully fold it up to meet the top, making sure the corners line up and then giving it a crease with your thumbnail. Using your thumbnail is gonna make that crease really nice and solid. And once you've got that set, you can go ahead and open it up with the crease side facing up. Let's go ahead and take the other edges and fold them into the middle. Go ahead and flip the bill around, then take the other bottom edge and fold that up to meet the middle again. Now go ahead and unravel your bill and it should look something like this. And the next step is gonna be very similar to building an airplane. We're gonna take these top corners and fold them down into the center. Then use your fingernail to go ahead and crease that edge over. And once that's set, we're gonna take the other corner and fold it down to meet the point on the other one, making sure that that lines up in the middle as well. And when it does, we're gonna crease that line to make a nice sharp triangle point. Now when you've got the top of your bill folded into a triangle, we need to go ahead and crease it down the center again. And we're gonna focus on this edge right here because that's what we're gonna to use to make our tie. Place one of your fingers on the inside corner of the triangle and then using the other hand, fold it gently sideways and crease it off to the sides so that it's about half the width that you want your final tie to be. Looking at it from this angle, you should kind of get an idea of how this is gonna to come together. Now once you've made that crease, it's gonna be really helpful just to flip it over and bend it back the other way, and that's just gonna help make that paper a little more flexible. Unfold your bill back to the triangle position, then take the bottom of the triangle and fold it inward and crease it along the center. Now if you look very closely at the creases we just made, you can see it resembles a tie. Now place one of your fingers on the right side of the triangle and then fold the tie in half and hold that in place with your finger. You can see how it makes the bill fold off to the edge and we wanna take your finger and crease that down at that angle. While we're here, it's also a good idea to take this bottom corner and fold it up to the center and come out to look very nice like that. Now just to give you a quick replay on that, this bottom corner here goes up to touch the middle when we make that fold and everything lines up with that fold that we made earlier. Once you've got that set, you can take your little tie flap and fold it back on top, exposing the other side of the tie, and then we're just gonna repeat that process on the other side. This time we're gonna fold the tie in half from the other direction and use your left finger to hold that in place. Then we're gonna use the other finger just to gently smooth down the bill at the top there. And once again, take this corner and line it up with the center. Now this really is the trickiest part, so I'm gonna show you one more time how it works just so you get it. But this corner down here needs to end up in the middle and this line here needs to transition to go vertical. So when we fold that vertically, you can see how that corner transitions up to meet the top and everything aligns with that side fold. Now with that second fold made, we can go ahead and unfold the tie and you should see that it sticks out on top of the shirt now. The next step is to make the collar. To make the collar, we wanna focus on the very bottom end. Take about a quarter of an inch of material and fold it straight upward and crease it very nicely, and then go ahead and flip the whole thing over. This will give you your pointed part at the top and the flat part at the bottom. We're gonna start with this bottom right corner and fold it in at an angle so that it meets the middle line, and then do the same thing with the left side. Grab the bottom right corner and just guide that corner right into the center at a bit of an angle, and this will leave you a long, narrow strip. Now flip your bill over the other way, then grab the left-hand corner and fold that in so that it meets the corner from the other direction. Hold that in place with your finger and then go ahead and crease it so that it matches. What this does is create the neck and the collar of the shirt. You'll see how that comes together in just a minute. But for now, flip it over so that the tie side is facing back up. Then take this collar and fold it up so that it hangs just underneath the tie by about three millimeters or so, and crease the bottom to lock it into place. Now this next part's gonna be a little bit tricky as well because it's gonna be where we form the arms. We need to just tilt the collar forward so we can see this crease line on the inside. We're gonna pull that crease line out and recrease it the opposite direction and then fold the collar back in. Now hold the collar gently in place with your thumb and grab the sleeve and gently pull it out until it's about the size that you want. When it is, go ahead and crease it down in place and you've got one sleeve for your shirt done. We can move on to doing the next one the same way. Gently pull the collar forward, look for that crease line, 
pull it out and pinch it so that it's the opposite direction. Gently replace the collar in the center with your thumb and grab that other sleeve and just pull it out until it's about where you want it and go ahead and crease it in place. You might even want to put it down on the table and just flatten everything to make sure it's about as secure as it can get. Right now your shirt should be looking something like this, and if it is, you wanna flip it over and lay it down on the table with the flat side facing up. And we're gonna take this bottom part with the shirt sleeves and fold it up to meet the shoulders on the back of the neck here. When those two points align, crease it at the bottom to secure it. Then take the collar and fold it up so that it meets the top of the shirt. But before you crease it, turn the shirt over and just make sure the top of your tie lines up with the collar first. If it does, then use your fingers to pinch the back of the shirt, maybe put it on a table and crease it as tightly as you can. And if you've done everything right, the back of your shirt should look something like this. Now there's only one step left to finishing up and that's to take the collar and fold it over and around the front of the shirt. That'll help lock it in place and hold everything together. And just like that, your little money shirt is done with the three dimensional tie and little sleeves that stick out. So now you know how to turn any dollar bill into a cool looking shirt and tie that your dad is gonna love this Father's Day. And if he doesn't, then don't worry about it because he can still use it to go buy himself something else. Well guys, thanks for joining me for this video and I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. And happy Father's Day, Dad. I'm gonna go put this in the mail for you right now.